you know, the, your address. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the U.S. address. The U.S. address is very specific for, for, for those of you that don't know. If they ask you for the U.S. address and if you don't know, you know, because the way we do addresses in Kenya is very different than the way we do addresses here in the U.S. So the way the address is, is uh, if so, and you'll know, you'll know whether somebody is renting an apartment or somebody is living in a house. How will you know that? You will know that by the way their address looks like. The way the address looks like is the 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 first first thing is the number of you know the number of the house. So like if I live in a house like you know I my house, it'll have a number whether it's like you know uh, twenty forty one. Twenty forty one is the house number, and the way the houses are here in the U.S. is the you know they they are labeled you know. On one side is even numbers, and on the other side is odd numbers. As, uh, also, that's that's a way. If, if you're ever lost looking for houses or looking for addresses here in the U.S., just make sure. Like one side of the street will be odd numbers, the other side of the street will be even numbers. Okay, so that's kind of how they 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 do the houses. So the first thing in the address will be the 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 number of the the house number of the house if they live in a in apartment in an apartment it's the number of the complex okay the number of the apartment complex will be will be the first thing and then the next thing will be the street that they live in the street that they live in all right so let's say you know i live in 2021 uh colorado avenue okay colorado avenue is the whether it's a boulevard uh, the street, the avenue, whatever you want to call it. It's a circle. It's a, there's so many, yeah, there's so many. So yeah, so that it's really the street. What street is, and so if you go to your, like go to that place, you look at the street, you know, this, this house is on this street. So this house is this number. And then the next thing, this house is located in this particular street. So if Colorado Avenue passes uh, across where, you know, passes where I live and this house is there, it'll be that particular, that particular street. And then the other thing they give you is, uh, the other thing they give you is they give you the, uh, the city. All right. Oh, before that, if they live in an apartment, they live in an apartment and you're filling the address, there's always this thing that's asking you what's the apartment or, or suite number. If you see somebody with a suite number, that means they either they're either in an apartment complex or maybe they it's an office that you know a building with so many offices, it'll have a suite number or it'll have a apartment number. So like the apartment complex is the apartment with all the apartments, which is the first when you which is the first uh, number. And then the apartment number is that particular apartment. But a house will not have apartment numbers or suite numbers. The house will just have the, the house number. Okay. And then they'll have the city. The city is wherever that, you know, whatever that, that particular uh, city, that, uh, that house is located. So let's say somebody lives in, 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 in Seattle. Seattle will be the city. And then there'll be a zip code. A zip code is, the, that's the way the U.S. is mostly, it's mostly divided by zip codes. That's how the U.S. kind of, that's how the post office is, uh, you know, that's how, uh, that's how they, they've kind of mapped out the U.S. It's, 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 it's broken out in zip codes. One particular zip code represents an, uh, an area, an area. So if somebody lives in, uh, 2021 Colorado Avenue. Remember the street number, and then the next thing will be, uh, will be whether it's an apartment, it'll have the apartment number, or if it's a house, it'll, it won't have anything else. And then there'll be the the city. City, maybe they live in Seattle, they live in Kent, they live in Dallas, they live in Houston, they live in, uh, you know, Birmingham, they live in, uh, uh, whatever street, whatever street that is. And then the next thing is there is the, is the state. So it's in Kent or Seattle, and then the state is Washington. It's in Dallas, and then the state is Texas. It's in, you know, it's in uh, where? Uh, why, am I, why am I 
or am I blanking? It's in Houston, Texas. Or, you know, it's in Kansas, Missouri. Or it's in, uh, wait, uh, it's in oh, wait, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas. So it'll have the state and then, uh, and then, yeah, and then the zip code, whatever zip code. So that's the address. So if you see it, you'll know it. So if they ask you, what's the address you're going to, you just read them the whole thing. Yeah. If they ask you for the address, just read them the whole thing. Read them the whole thing. They ask for the city, you'll see the city. The city is just before the state. City is just before the state. So city, uh, state, and then the zip code. City, state, zip code. Yeah. All right. So that's that's like where the place you 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 know you, the place you're going to you're going to stay, and then some, sometimes they might ask you uh, for uh, people who are joining us. Some, sometimes they might ask you uh, like how uh, do I wanna uh, yeah like how much is your trip going to cost? They might ask you that question. How much is your trip going to cost? Or who is you know who is covering for your trip? So in that, in, in that instance, that's why you kind of, that's why I'm, I was saying you need to be on toes with some of these questions they ask you. You need to be on toes, on toes, on toes, on toes. If they ask you, what's the cost you've already, how, have, you have an estimate. It's going to cost me this much, tell them. It's going to cost me this much, tell them. You know, have you reserved a flight? You can tell them yes or no. But again, all these questions are coming from the DS-160. You've answered these questions in the DS-160. You've put the address you're going to in the DS-160. So when they ask you, where are you going? And you give them a different address than is what is on the DS-160, you are inconsistent. That is false information. That, you know, that, that obviously, that it's, there's some deception. There's some lies there. You'll get denied. Some people have been asked. That's why when they ask you, okay, uh, oh, I'm going to visit my uncle. Yeah. And, you know, when's the last time you saw your uncle? You know, and you answer, okay, what city? What city does what city does your uncle live in? And then it's like Tururu. Tururu means you have not, you know. Just go find out and then come back when you know where, what you're what you're going to do in the US. They will not give you. They will not give you. Some people have been denied because they like and they were holding the invite. The invitation letter usually has the address. Whenever somebody sends you an invitation letter, most of the time it has the address there. And, and a lot of these people, I think personally, you know, like three or four people that were denied because, A, they did not know the address, they did not know the city or the state, which is really crazy. And the, the, the funny thing is they were holding the invitation letter with them then. And then but they have no idea. But if you don't know, you don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. Uh, 